BLI was established in 1982 by Mike Burns and Arnold Beckman. Uh, it's one of five Beckman Institutes in the United States. The original intent of the Institute was um, to advance lasers and optics technologies in biology and medicine. We have a clinic, basic research labs, technology development. We also do commercialization uh, and clinical research. So we take our technologies from bench top to bedside uh, and do entirely new experimental, diagnostic, and therapeutic methods. Many different disciplines come together here, um, and you're absolutely right that each discipline has its own sort of unique jargon and unique way of looking at things. Um, and it's particularly tough to translate from basic sciences and technologies to medicine. But we're a place that's been working for over 30 years on exactly that kind of translation. So there's a, a new language structure and a new type of interaction, I think, that's been built up here over time that um, is a translating language. It's one that helps explain what's going on in the basic science and technology world to clinicians. And it's one where clinicians can articulate what are important problems that they're interested in working on. By having applied innovation with the invention transfer group and all of the the, the people with the proper skills to negotiate contracts with industry has, has, has been extremely important in streamlining the process uh, to allow us to do licensing and industry collaborations um, essentially in a one-stop shopping. It's all taking place in one location with a team of people who are really thinking about everything from optimizing our agreements with the companies to minimizing and managing areas of conflict of interest. So it's been extremely important, a very, very um, bold move by the, the campus that's, not, um, that's really facilitated improved relationship with industry, uh, something that we've all been seeking in our area of work. It's estimated that uh, in the next five years or so, there, there might be a billion people in the world that are connected, wearing sensors, connected to the internet. And, and many of those sensors will have, at their core, optics and photonics components that are driving them. So this will grow. Uh, I feel like our region is in a wonderful position to be a leader in the growth of those devices. We have over 50 faculty at UCI who are doing biophotonics, um, and I'm hoping that we can add more, more students in this area, and that we can become a mecca for the region and for the nation for optics and photonics growth, uh, in biophotonics in particular, but more broadly um, in these technologies as applied to human and environmental health.